हेलो सर वी कैन हियर यू अच्छा तुम पहले बोलो हेलो हेलो उनकी तो को गाइड थे ना मैम हेलो कैन यू हियर मी हेलो जंग यस 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 आई गो जंग बट आई गो कैन यू हियर मी नाउ कैन यू आई कॉन्ट हियर यू यस यस सर डॉक्टर दिलावरी वी कैन हियर यू सर ओके हेलो कैन यू हियर मी I request everybody on Zoom. Yes, sir. To yes, please. sir. Doctor Bhargav, we can hear you. Okay, very good. Uh, Doctor Manu Tandon, sir, I can. I will request everybody on Zoom to please mute your microphones because we are going to start in another five minutes. So that if any one of your microphone is unmuted, there would be a lot of disturbance. When your name is called out, then you can unmute your microphone, and thereafter, you can you can pay your tribute to Professor Tandon. So we'll be starting in another four five minutes. So I request all of you to please mute your microphones. Everybody on Zoom. <laughs> Why is it not on? Can you hear? हेलो यस सर कैन यू हियर मी नाउ यस सर यस सर वी कैन क्लियरली हियर यू आई डोंट थिंक जी की बात बात आई डिड कैन यू गाइस हियर मी दिस इज मनीष फ्रॉम बोस्टन यस यस मनीष वी कैन ओ गुड ओके आई वाजंट वर्किंग फॉर सम रीजन ओके हेलो thank you uh, yes but we have been mu muted by the host so yes i yes. see yeah again and again muted yes how are you guys doing hi jung manish we are doing fine we can see you we are waiting for the aims uh, faculty to to start the proceedings
it's a sincere request to everyone who's logged on to the zoom please do not unmute yourself unless asked otherwise it will lead to a lot of chaos hello the voice clarity will not be there please Manu, keep can your you mic hear me? muted it's a request please keep your yeah, mic muted yeah we can muted. we can hear you we can hear you it takes a little time to reply because we have to Should I start then? So we have organized this meeting to pay homage to our beloved teacher and former head of the department, Professor Rakesh Tandon, who has left for his heavenly abode on 3rd of August. He was born on 1st of April, 1941 in a very important town of UP, Allahabad. He did his graduation and post-graduation from a prestigious institute, King George Medical College. Then he went for his fellowship to US, worked with uh, Peter Bank there, and he joined the Department of Gastroenterology as a lecturer in 1971. He took over uh, as head of the department in 1991 when Professor B. N. Tandon superannuated. During his tenure as a regional professor at Alnia Institute of Medical Sciences, he was uh, sub dean from 1987 to 89. As we all know, he was a gastroenterologist par excellence and an outstanding interventionist. He established many new techniques and procedures in the department. He established so, for pancreatic or biliary okay. work okay. and also okay. started pancreas clinic. He was recipient of prestigious Dr. B.C. Roy Award. AIMS conferred him with Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 and Bronze Colitis Foundation of India also conferred him the Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017. He was Honorary Fellow of American Gastroenterology Association and Royal College of Physician. He was a Fellow of National Academy of Medical Sciences. Okay. So, we, we have assembled here to pay homage to a former head of the department, Dr. Rakesh Tandon, who has left for his heavenly abode on 3rd of August, 2020. He was born on 1st of April, 1941 at Allahabad. He did his graduation and post-graduation in medicine from King George Medical College, Lucknow. Then he left for his post-doctoral doctor, fellowship and came back to join as lecturer in 1971 at All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Then he took over as head of the department gastroenterology in 1991 when Professor B. N. Tandon superannuated. He continued in that position till December 2002. During his tenure as additional professor, he was sub dean at All India Institute of Medical Sciences from 1987 to 89. As we all know, he was a gastroenterologist par excellence, a brilliant interventionist, and he was mentor for all of us. He was the one who, who established uh, a laboratory for pancreatic biliary research at All India Institute of Medical Sciences in the Department of Gastroenterology. He also started pancreas and Goldstein Clinic in the department. Uh, he was a very pro people person and always willing to to extend a helping hand to anybody in the department and he was always he never I never saw him refusing to see any patient at any point of time. He was recipient of prestigious BC Roy Award and 
Ames also conferred him the Lifetime Achievement Award in 2016 and Tones Colitis Foundation of India conferred him Lifetime Achievement Award in 2007. He was a Fellow of National Academy of Medical Sciences and Counselor for International Pancreas Club. He was given a Master's by World Gastroenterology Association. He was Secretary of ISG for six years and took over as President as in 1991. He was on the editorial board of prestigious journal in the field of gastroenterology. Ever smiling Professor Tandon was a great teacher and mentor for many of us. In fact, all of us, me, Pramod, Vineet, and Govin, they were introduced to pancreatology, intervention gastroenterology, IBD, and luminal gastroenterology by Dr. Tandon. He he was blessed with an analytical scientific brain and good command over language in Hindi and English. He has written books in Hindi on health issues for lay people. I, on behalf of the Department of Gastroenterology, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, pay tribute to the great soul and pray to all my to give strength to the bereaved family to bear this irreparable loss. And I would like all of us to stand up for one minute. Now, I'll invite our Dean and Professor Balram Bhargav from here on the dais. And I invite Dr. Balram Bhargav to say a few words. Well, it's a great loss to the scientific community of India. He was a, a legendary figure as far as evidence-based and going by the science for research and uh, 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 problem-based solutions for uh, uh, disease. And uh, he had the best of training in the world. Uh, he was a fellow senior of mine from King George's Medical College and was always affectionate and very fond and uh, loved us all as juniors and uh, it is a great loss uh, not only to the scientific community but to the research community but to the medical fraternity as well as to the to humanity as son because he was a great great soul and a wonderful person may his soul rest in peace Good evening. Uh, we've all gathered here with a very heavy heart to pay homage to a very great soul, Professor Rakesh Tandon. I was a resident when there were these three stalwarts in the Department of Gastroenterology, Professor B. N. Tandon, Professor Rakesh Tandon, and Professor M. P. Sharma, and Professor Bhargav. And we were all terribly scared of them when they used to come to the Department of Pathology for the various interdepartmental conferences. It's a huge loss to, and an irreparable loss to the Ames community because he was very active till the end. And we will always remember him as a pioneering gastroenterologist who brought laurels to the institute as well as the country in 
uh, on his work with endoscopy and pancreas. He has hordes of fans among patients, students, because he was an excellent teacher. His command over the language, both Hindi and English, was something we were in awe of. He was a, a very great orator, as far as I remember from my student days. And hence, he was immensely popular among the undergraduate students and in the UG seminars where we have combined between pathology and gastroenterology, they used to be really very popular among the undergraduate students. And they used to wait for his class and his seminar. As uh, he was an orator par excellence, and his lectures were always a treat to hear. He is a mentor and a role model to a large number of the AIMS fraternity. But ab above all, I think we remember him because of his ever smiling nature. He was always smiling, greeted you always with a smile. And this is something that we will always remember that his good heartedness and his ever smile. Very gentle, very pleasing, and a very considerate person, whether it be a junior or a senior person. He not only took gastroenterology at Ames to great heights, but mentored a lot of students and who all remember him with fond and respect. So it is an irre irreplaceable loss. We pray for his soul to rest in peace. and. Our heartfelt condolences to the family, his wife, Dr. Manjula Tandon, children Manish and Richa, and may his soul rest in peace. Now I request Professor M.P. Sharma to say a few words. Dr. M.P. Sharma. Uh, Dr. Sharma, please unmute your mic. Phone, phone, phone. सर सर आपका माइक फिर से म्यूट हो गया है हाँ राइट सर फिर से म्यूट हो गया है आप उसको अनम्यूट करिए ना कैन यू हेयर मी नाउ हाँ ना कैन यू हेयर मी यस यस सर Okay, I, I'm very sorry to lose Professor Rakesh Chandran. We have I have the longest association with him at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. In 1971, when he joined, I was doing my DM in gastroenterology, and a year later I left for USA. Came back and then since then, from 1975 till 2001, we were friends together and a colleague. In my 50 years of association with Rakesh, I never found him losing temper, but always ever smiling. When I, I'm a short-tempered man, I used to lose temper. He always used to console me and said, "Mahesh, don't lose temper with the students." And I said, "No, I lose temper only to teach them." He said, "No, you can teach the other way around." Rakesh has been a great person, a great teacher. And a great researcher. Actually, I remember the days when the gastroenterology at Ames was in the coming stage. He was the first one who started ERCP. Then he started working on gallstone disease, and then he hello. Got in, then he got into hello, hello. Ha, continue career, sir. Continue. Then, then he got into the pancreas, and since then. 
all of us had different areas of research, but he always helped me during my work on peptic ulcer disease and ulcerative colitis. He was a great person, a great friend, and must I must say, always very, very helpful. We attended, and also as a social person, we attended a lot of conferences together, and he always used to insist that we should travel together. And we used to travel together to be a good company. I always feel sorry, and it is surprising that on 31st night, I talked to him and he was doing well I, because I, he always wanted to go back to work at the hospital. He was so conscientious. So I said, no, this is for COVID attack. We'll go after 15. And on that 31st also, he said, no, I want to go on first. I said, don't go on first. Then he said, no, I have got some toothache, so I will not go. And then it happened. And the last message which he sent me on a WhatsApp in our group of Amsonians, was about some photographs which I put in. And he said, it's an excellent photographs, Mahesh. I also have some, and he will share it later on. So I can say he's a perfect human being, a good person, a good research worker, an excellent teacher. His patient, always, I used to sometimes, as I said earlier, I used to lose temper, but he would never used to lose temper with his patient. And he always used to console me more than that. I, feel so sorry. I don't know how we will ever feel the loss which has been created by going, his going away. May God give peace to his departed soul. Thank you. Now, I'll request Dr. D.K. Bhargav to say a few words. Well, very, I'm really very pleasant. It is the heaven demise of Professor Rakesh Sharma, which I came to know after two hours. My sincere condolences to Mr. Manji Tandan and his family. I pray for eternal peace to his departed soul. We were colleagues in the department for a long time uh, since I joined uh, the department in 1977, early 1977. He remained a hard-working person from beginning till his death. Dr. Tandon was a good teacher and a clinician. His research work revolved mainly around the pancreatic diseases. Uh, Rakesh uh, was remained very friendly to his colleagues, his students, and helped them in all aspects and remained as role model to several of them. Thus, his qualities will be remembered in the field of gastroenterology for a long time. I again pray to God to give peace. I will request Dr. N. K. Mehra to say a few words. I have known Dr. Rakesh Tandon for the past more than four decades. As a member of the AIMS faculty, he was the most energetic and the most lively guy that we met all the time. He was so good, he was so friendly that it was always a joy to meet him. But our association with him grew even more when he moved to Gurga. He and his wife actually came to stay in Aurelia. And Rakesh liked that place so much. And we used to really have a wonderful um, Social competitive <laughs> together is there. He was always saying he, he was like, like an elder brother to us. Uh, it was always a joy to meet him. His uh, passing away has been so sudden, actually. He also inducted me into the IEC of his hospital, and that gave us an opportunity to have even more uh, uh, academic interaction there. But his
we were really very close i wrote some papers with him and when mehra told me that he is no more i i couldn't stop crying and i still cannot believe that he is no more really difficult to believe i will give you one anecdote about his teaching capacity one of the undergraduates when i was leaving all in yes you know told uh, sir i will like to tell you about a, a great teacher we had earlier uh, we have uh, in the aims i said who he said rakesh tandon he said sir one day he was half a minute late in the class and he entered the class and came and spoke to one of the students in the front row are bhai uh, uh, kya topic hai batao hamare lecture ke topic kya hai so usne he told him the topic and the moment he told the topic he took the chalk and stood on the podium on the blackboard and what he taught was a biases and its complication and the student told me sir from that day onwards the whole class remembers what he taught were better that was the power of his teaching and very recently when he manju and he and we all manju called me to her a beautiful new house in galeria i told rakesh you are such a wonderful outstanding teacher you must record your lectures for posterity for uh, post graduates to learn from you and he was saying how do you do it well i was trying to explain and then uh, for some reason he got busy i got busy and i don't think he has recorded it would have been such a great thing that he would have recorded his lectures for all the pgs to learn gastroenterology for such a great teacher um, as a human being there is very everyone has said everything i don't think i will meet such a humble such a wonderful such a, a crystal clear heart ready to help everyone any time you just ask him and he is available and i tell you it is so difficult for me to reconcile myself that rakesh is not there i don't know what to say to manju um except rakesh where wherever you are rest in peace you will always be in our hearts and manju and family i hope you have courage and strength to go through this difficult time thank you now i request dr s k acharya to say something Dr. Acharya is not here. Then I will request Dr. Y K Joshi. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Am I audible? Cool. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible. Hello. Ha, ah, you are audible, sir. Thank you. I have no words to say. I was a student. I have. I was his associate professor. i used to assist him in everything all the meetings all the conferences he taught me and lost up guided me how to build a career and encouraged him to do everything in life i don't believe that he is not there i have never believed that he will not be there he was always there for us for all his students all the departmental colleagues whenever we needed him he was a friend he was a philosopher he was a guide must have gone to his innumerable times innumerable times ma'am and he will host us with affection with parental love i am not telling about his academic achievement everybody knows it everybody knows it he is a stalwart he is a outstanding teacher gastroenterologist and doctor of his academy 
but as a person, he is a supreme. There's some problem with your link, technical problem. Okay. Then I invite Dr. Y.K. Joshi to say something. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are. Dr. Rakesh Kandan ke baare mein two minute bolna muskil hai. Kyunki unke baare mein bolna hai ka aapko kanta hai. Loss of all these students across the district. Loss is a great loss. Not only a loss, my heart has split. My God. IT is off. I was running it with a um, my Thank you. Sir, Dr. Joshi, I think Dr. Acharya is also speaking, so... Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, uh, Dr. Joshi, you can start. Uh, Dr. Rakesh Kandan ke baare mein do minutes mein bolna bohat hi muskil hai. Unke liye bolne ke liye do saal ka vakt bhi kam hai. I met him for the first time in 1975 when he was lecturer in the Department of Gastroenterology. And it was, I must tell you, love at the first sight. I found a person amicably, and I miss. I thought that I have a good teacher here, good friend here, and just like my elder brother. 1975, we say, Dr. Tandon we had a very close association in every matter. I was just like his one of the family members and his younger brother. To say in a light way, anytime he used to say, come down today evening and we will have something which you will enjoy. And I wish I had been to his house many times. Dr. Tandon Kajane Ka Samacha Jab Suna, so I was very much upset because I had just talked to him last week only. And we had decided something and we are, and we are planning to meet. It is a very, very personal loss to me. I will always remember because I have learned most of the things from him, including how to live a lively life. May God bless him wherever he is. My deepest condolence to Mrs. Tandon and Manish and Richa. Thank you. Dr. Umesh Kapil. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would like to say that uh, myself and uh, my wife, Arti, are very sad to know about his departure. It was a really a sad moment for both of us. We knew him very closely. He was a thorough gentleman. And uh, he was always ready to help us whenever we needed any, we requested him for any help. And, um, and did you give your number to your wife? I'm sorry? Uh, I knew him very closely since 1986 uh, when I joined as a faculty in the department. And uh, he was an excellent head, always helped me in my academic activities. Myself and my wife will always miss him, and we pray to God for the peace of the departed too. Thank you. Now I will request Dr. T. P. Singh to say a few. Hello.
So you are. Was a very sad. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, you are. It was a very sad news for me. He was my great friend, collaborator, and we had a great time together. And that was a time I did many things in the restaurant, lobby, and many things. We also had a background that his father was my teacher in the University of Alhama, taught me chemistry in BSc. Sir, yeah. sir, Hello? camera adjust for you. Now it's all right. So we did many things together, and he had a problem with gallstones. He came to me with correct eyes. We had a, a problem with pancreatic stones. We isolated some novel proteins and correctized them. And we also had common collaborators from Germany, many conference in gastroenterology. Organizing, we had lots of interactions. He had lots of personal interests. He was a friend, he was a very close friend. Yeah. Everybody has said outstanding qualities, outstanding skills, a great friend. One of the very sad news. You can keep on talking, but I think it's a very, very sad news. I'm very sad about this. I wish him so much the best in peace. And also wish that his family members and children are encouraged to It has been indeed a great place for all of us. Friends. We have received a message from Dr. B.M. El Kapoor. And now I'll, I'll invite our director. Dr. Randeep Gunaria, say a few words. Thank you. I think the untimely loss of Professor Tan is something that has really been a big blow as far as Ames family is concerned. He was a person that most of the faculty members and the young students actually admired. I had met uh, Professor Tandon when I had joined Ames as a young faculty. And what really stuck me was his very helpful nature and the fact that he was always smiling and greeting you whenever he met you, either in the corridor or when you had a case to discuss with him. I had never seen him lose his temper or even sort of behave in a manner which would not be that of a thorough gentleman. And as has already been said, he was admired by his students as a great teacher and someone who was always willing to go out and help his students no matter what be the problem that they had. It's not only a loss for the Department of Gastroenterology or for gastroenterology, but for the medical fraternity and for everyone at Ames because I think even after retirement he was really uh, looked up to, admired a lot, and people always sought his help even after he had left the All Institute of Medical Science. For us, it's a great, great loss, an untimely loss, and I just pray that may his soul rest in peace and may the family members have the courage to really bear his loss. I think it's going to be a big loss even for us as a name's family. Thank you. Now, promote you, take over. Dr. Saraya has told me about the gastroenterology of the journey. I want to say some other things. Dr. Saraya was a true and academic person. He was a true academician and his appetite for work could never be fulfilled, as we all know and thirst for knowledge was never quenched. I'll just uh, tell you a small incident. The day I finished my DM examination, I was on rounds with him next day, and he says, what are you doing today? Are you And 
आई डेंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज सेम यस्टरडे ही टुक माई एग्जाम टूडे इज आसिंग आज कल खाली हो कुछ काम वाम करो बट लेटर आई रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस दैट दैट सेंटेंस दैट यू नो दिस ए ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क दैट यू नीड टू डू यू हैव जस्ट क्वालिफाइड टू डू दैट वर्क सो गेट ऑन विद योर लाइफ एंड योर वर्क रिसर्च के बारे में डॉक्टर सराया ने बताया सिग्निफिकेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ही मेड टू बिलियर इन पेंकेटिक डिजीजेज and he worked with many giants including martin kerry uh, who was a uh, father figure in biliary diseases he brought ercp to india along with professor dilawar in chandigarh published many papers in lancet gastroenterology got all top journals and at one point in time he was editor of five journals in gastroenterology i think a rare credit to him and that also shows his international stature he was friends with all the stalwarts in gastroenterology including the doyen mervin selesenger who, whose book we all read in gastroenterology peter banks the father of pancreatology ashok soluja minoti apte johan preganza jo feral i mean the list is endless and all the big people in asia pacific in fact on on 3rd of august the first news i got uh, from abroad was from australia about his sad demise today the world is so small and news spread so fast In 1992, we organized a meeting of ISG in in Ames, and he did a, a symposium, AGA symposium on RBD. There were all the giants in the world available in this institute, and they really admired him, and we learned so much from that. And he was a master in organizing these international conferences. In 2000, ISG he organized a conference with more than 100 faculty, which was very you know rare at that time. And 2008, he organized a big conference at APDW. which really raised the bar of international conferences being done in india and that's why he was invited all over the world to give lectures and, and talks everywhere personal attributes of course everybody knows he was a thorough gentleman one special quality he had that unke man mein koi dwesh kisi ke liye kabhi maine nahi dekha chahe kisi na kuch kara ho kabhi dwesh word hi nahi har ek ke liye helping friendly always always smiling everybody says that bahut badi quality और एटिकेट्स मैनर्स तो हम सबको मालूम ही है स्टाइल परसोनिफाइड इफ यू हैव टू से दैट ही वाज़ दी मैन इन एवरीथिंग ही ही डिड ऑफ कोर्स लैंग्वेज वाज हिज इंग्लिश एंड बोथ हिंदी डॉक्टर आई ऑल्सो मेंशन वाज हिज बोथ ई करते कभी ई में आपको मालूम है थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट प्रोसीजर है नहीं हो रहा कहें ओ दैपल इज नॉट कमिंग आफ आस हमारी समझ में नहीं आया कि सर बोल क्या रहे हैं ये Papilla is not coming at us. Bad news, but the papilla is not coming in front of me. So, you know that was his style. But his personality was such, which endeared him to all and everybody around. For me, he was a mentor in two senses. I am here only because of him. He taught me GI, introduced me to research, and everything that I. i can go on but <clears throat> i think his uh, best tribute would be if we could carry on his legacy i can only say guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri guru namaha now i'll request uh, some of the uh, senior gastroenterologist from around the country to uh, pay their tributes uh, professor sk sarin thank you more than the anup a very very heavy heart i have to a few things sir rakesh tandan is dear very dear to all of us and has been a role model for me in particular when i joined institute i came from a small town an institute was huge change and i had no one to cry my shoulder some and he was always so kind to call me in the evening and in fact offer from a small pink color small dabba sometimes a 
samosa or sometimes say mukhai pa milaba always and, and uh, it not only soothed me but it connected me uh, with a person who was so genuinely attached to the students i would go out calcutta meeting or somewhere he will look after all the pgs very well and to my wife my wife would always say dekho bilkul devanand lagta hai tum bhi thoda dhang se kapde kapde pehna seekho we always used to talk about his style jaisa pramod ne kaha andaaz ek unki hansi mein baat cheet mein pehna kapde bolna sab mein ek andaaz tha jo ki hamesha hamesha jiyega mere dil mein zehn main sare doston ki taraf se एक छोटा सा शेर बोलूंगा जो मैं चाहूंगा जीस्त का मतलब होता है जिंदगी मेरा जीवन इस जीस्त की कीमत ए हमदम डॉक्टर टंडन ने हमें सबको हमदम की तरह रखा अपने घर के घर वालों की तरह ए जीस्त की कीमत ए हमदम सच पूछ तो वो दो आंसू है इस जीस्त की कीमत ए हमदम सच पूछ तो वो दो आंसू है जो वक्त जुदाई निकले थे पर शर्म के मारे बहन से माई हार्ट इज क्राइम माइंड इज क्राइम वी विल ऑलवेज ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू डॉक्टर टंडन राकेश टंडन नॉट ओनली एज ए फ्रेंड मेंटर गाइड बट एज ए रोल मॉडल मे मंजुला जी ऑलवेज आई रिमेंबर द वे वी यूज टू हैव स्विमिंग सेशन ही वुड कम इन द मॉर्निंग फाइव थर्टी टू द पूल and we would swim together for half an hour and uh, manish and richa my prayers and a tribute to a real teacher a real man dr yogesh chawla uh thank you pramod uh, it was really very shocking when we came to know that Uh, he's no more with us on the third i joined the institute in 1980 and my first posting was with him for all of us who have worked in gastroenterology it used to be a very strenuous posting but posting getting posted with him was so relaxing he used to always soothe us and uh, he was available to us even uh, till 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock in the institute he was also very well dressed a very handsome gastroenterologist which we all wanted to emulate but could not do so he was actually a role model and a very good teacher for all of us his quest for learning was something very impressive even till this age he would attend conferences and sit right from the morning till the evening and that was something very remarkable we also appreciated the uh, the travels that we did outside delhi and outside chandigarh and i came to know more about him his gentleness and his liking for uh, different things but one thing which very impressed me was uh, the care that he took uh, uh, of uh, dr manjula while she was there in our meeting and uh, that was very very impressive it's been a big loss uh, i've been associated closely with him with the governing body of psri where he was working and just one week before we were on the web together and it was absolutely shocking to learn that he's no more with us may his soul rest in peace and i pray for the family that they get the courage to uh, bear this loss thank you dr premashish kar please no dr jang dilavri can you hear me yes sir but rakesh sabka dost tha 
और मुझे तो इतना अच्छा लगता था वेन एवर आई यूज टू मीटिंग्स विद हिम और हॉलीडेज आई रिमेम्बर वन इंसिडेंट वी वर इन स्वीडन टूगेदर मंजुला मनीष छोटे बच्चे थे और रेचा and we had great fun together we traveled in the car we played games together and was a great fun guy i mean i don't want to talk about his academic activities but i want to talk him talk with him as a person he was such a great friend he came to scotland visited me there and we had absolutely great fun and we discussed our family problems and other things he was very very close to me and i loved him from my heart and i really miss him now so much that he is no more with us डॉक्टर रणधीर सूद थैंक यू प्रमोद आई थिंक फॉर मी प्रोफेसर केश टंडन वॉज द ट्रू गुरु बिकॉज ही इनिशिएटेड मी टू ई आर सी पी विच रिमेन स्टिल डेट माई मेन स्ट्रेंथ इन माई कैरियर यू नो आई रिमेंबर द डे ही रीजॉइंड आफ्टर हिज रिसर्च स्टेंट इन जर्मनी जॉइन बैक इन इंस्टीट्यूट बिकॉज आई वॉज डूइंग माई डी एम the day he joined there was sudden change in the entire environment of the department it was he came in as like a you know a, 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 a breath of fresh air and uh, he was a, you know a teacher in the in the wards he was teacher in the in the department but the moment you left it he was a friend and we were nothing at that time we were just uh, fresh students and he will still treat us with so much of love and uh, respect that we all actually looked up to him and as uh, shiv just said uh, uh, i always said he is devanand of gastroenterology and he was a uh, you know person i think uh, we all actually wanted to be in uh, in fact i i used to have uh, walk uh, used to walk with him in uh, magnolias uh, after he shifted to aralias and i remember that i and my wife and uh, manjula ji and uh, professor and then we were walking together and uh, uh, i i commented i said sir you don't look too well he said ha yaar thoda uh, uh, exhaust ho jata hu and uh, you know do uh, you never imagine that he's not going to be there uh, after a week and it was uh, so sudden and so s- saddening when we heard it, the news of his uh, you know demise but i think uh, uh, he uh, you know lived a celebrated life and uh, i think uh, we we need to Uh, you know propagate his uh, 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 virtues by uh, dedicating uh, uh, something in gastroenterology to him so that we perpetuate his uh, memory and uh, i for one i think i owe my entire career and i'll always uh, fondly remember him as a teacher as a friend and as a mentor thank you dr ramesh rupray एक आप अनम्यूट कर दीजिए डॉक्टर राय यू कैन अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ आई जस्ट डन इट ओके हां जी यस मैं अपने परम श्रद्धे गुरु प्रोफेसर राकेश टंडन साहब के प्रति अपने अंतर्मन से श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करता हूं उन्होंने न केवल हमें गैस्ट्रोएंटोलॉजी ही सिखाई वरन जीवन में मानवता का पाठ भी पढ़ाया उनका इतना मित्रवृत्त व्यवहार रहता था कि जब भी मैं इंस्टीट्यूट में उनके अंडर में पढ़ने के लिए गया उन्होंने इतने प्रेम से हमें रखा कि मेरे जीवन के प्रति पल उनके प्रति श्रद्धा बढ़ती ही चली गई मुझे कभी उन्होंने ये इंट्रोड्यूस नहीं किया कि ये मेरा स्टूडेंट है हमेशा कहते थे ये इस डॉक्टर राय ये जयपुर से आए हैं हमारे साथ काम करते हैं ऐसा उनका मित्र त्योहार था सभी के प्रति हम सब स्टूडेंट्स उनके पास चाहे शाम के सात बजे हो आठ बजे हो कभी भी उनके पास जाकर हम अपने व्यथा या अपने कारणों को उनसे डिस्कस कर सकते थे उन्होंने हमेशा एक ऐसा प्रेम वत व्यवहार हम सबसे रखा ऐसा दुलार हमें दिया वो तो हमारी जीवन का एक अभिन्न बंग बन गया वो अपने जीवन में इतने ज्यादा प्रेरणा के स्रोत रहे न केवल अपनी पर्सनैलिटी अपनी मानवता के वजह से बल्कि 
मैं कहता हूँ उनके स्वर में इतनी मधुरता थी कि जब भी वो मुझे अपने मधुर स्वर में रमेश कह के पुकारते थे आज वही सर मेरे कानों में हमेशा गूंजता रहता है वो इतना ज्यादा परिवार का ख्याल रखते थे आदरणीय मैडम मंजुला जी का भी इतना ध्यान रखते थे हर साल जब वो हमारी सीएम प्रोग्राम के लिए पधारते थे तो सांस्कृतिक कार्यक्रम में ये देखते थे कि जिस जगह पर मंजुला जी अपना डांस करने वाली है अपना नृत्य प्रस्तुत करने वाली है वहां आकर वो उसको देखते थे कि कहीं उन्हें चोट ना लग जाए उनका जमीन वहां समतल है या नहीं है या स्टेज ठीक है नहीं मैं उनके प्रति अपने मन की सारी भावनाओं को संजोते हुए एक अपने मन में एक हमेशा अश्रुपूर्ण श्रद्धांजलि उनके प्रति रखूंगा मैडम मंजुला जी मनीष और ऋचा जी को भी मेरे तहे दिल से ये प्रार्थना है कि उनका जो व्यवहार हमारे प्रति रहा आप हमेशा वही प्रेम हमारे प्रति रखेंगे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद डॉक्टर गौरदास चौधरी शल नॉट टॉक अबाउट हिज एकेडेमिक अचीवमेंट विच हैव बीन मेनी बट टू और थ्री पर्सनल ट्रेट देव ऑलरेडी बीन हाईलाइटेड एज अ टीचर ही हैड अ वेरी यूनिक स्टाइल इट वॉज दैट ऑफ रोल मॉडलिंग एंड मेंटरशिप ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबडी वॉन्टेड टू बी लाइक हिम दैट वॉज रियली ग्रेट वी टू कम कैस टू बिकॉज ऑफ हिम and he encouraged us to take deep interest in pancreatic or biliary diseases and endoscopy the other thing is somebody mentioned dr sarin he had a great sense of style i remember that dingy corner room on the third floor where endoscopy used to be done with rajender and prem but even there the way he did his endoscopy he did it with that style and flamboyance that each one of us wanted to be like him something great and third is that he was indeed very large hearted every time we wrote a paper together in which actually often he did a lot of work i was surprised that the first authorship would come to the to the resident there was something which i thought was very very touching it encouraged us a lot so i think that he was more than i mean he was of course greatly respected but he was immensely loved and we actually drew a lot of strength and inspiration from him almost as a father head my prayers for his soul and to the family to mrs tandon she has been so affectionate to me and i remember rita was a small school girl when i first went to their saket house for their housewarming party and he and mrs tandon were such graceful hosts that that was the beginning of a long chat डॉक्टर विवेक सारस्वत थैंक यू प्रमोद इट्स वेरी वेरी हार्ड फॉर मी टू एक्सेप्ट दैट प्रोफेसर टंडन इज नो मोर विद अस हिज प्रेजेंस वाज वन ऑफ द कांस्टेंट फीचर्स ऑफ माय लाइफ एंड आई विल नॉट टॉक अबाउट व्हाट एवरीवन एल्स हैज स्पोकन अबाउट हिज एकेडमिक्स हिज क्वालिटीज एज अ टीचर हिज आउटस्टैंडिंग individual traits and style and just talk about how he influenced me he was my teacher my mentor and the role model that i have tried to emulate in my life i was fortunate that when we joined the department i was allotted to him as a dm uh, for my dm uh, uh, project and uh, he introduced me to the topic of biliary microlithiasis which was completely new to me interest in biliary crystals and that has left to my led to my lifelong interest in bilio pancreatic diseases i remember in those early days when we had to start polarizing light microscopy uh he took lenses from a sunglass that he must have brought from uh, abroad and we used those two lenses on a standard uh, microscope in 90 degrees to look at cholesterol crystals i learned to recognize cholesterol crystals bilirubin granules microspheroliths and all that uh, from him he used to do the biliary drainage and that is what led to my interest and i think uh, gc will remember this very well on the gallbladder motility work uh, gallstone work that we did in the early 90s once i moved to sgpgi in 1988 
learning ERCP from him, just as Randhir mentioned, has been the formative influence and the central part of my career for the last 30 years. And I remember rushing to the radiology department at 2 o'clock, getting the patient on the table and while he's making his way down from the third floor to try to get the scope in, focus the papilla and have a go at it. And he would walk in easy with something or the other and let you go on for a few minutes before taking over and then latching on to the lecture scope and learning the nuances of how ERCP is done. How to write an ERCP report, the diagrams used to draw and the descriptions that he used or what he had done has been the way that I've learned and tried to do for the rest of my life till date. Well, life moved on. I came to SGPJ in 1988. Uh, GC will remember those days we had a tennis court made in the 1990s and uh, we started having tennis games and matches. So one day I had gone to Hazrat Ganj to get some uh, tennis stuff. I walked into a sports shop on, in Hazrat Ganj, I think it was Imperial Sports or something. And uh, when I told him that I'm from SGPJ, I'm a gastroenterologist. The first question he asked me is, do you know Dr. Rakesh Tanu? And I was so amazed at that question. And then he, once he, I said I did. The next 10 minutes, I heard him listen, describing Dr. Rakesh Tandon, how great a tennis player he was, that he was on the KGMC team, about his Hewitt gold medal and the prizes and cups and trophies he had won. And what amazed me was how at least 20 years must have gone by since he had left uh, Lucknow when I'm talking about the early 90s. And this gentleman had such fond memories and uh, in the recollections of Dr. Tandon. Well, I think the best memories that I have is what Dr. Ramesh Rupra had just told about the last 10 odd years, our meetings during the annual Rajasthan ISGCon meetings, where it's a great big family. All of us look forward to those meetings and his warmth and uh, humor and uh, personal traits. I really came to know them very well during the last 10 years. In fact, he was deeply interested in everything that was happening around him. He was completely involved in academics right till the very end and he taught us the art of how to age gracefully even at that age how from being the center of the uh, attraction and being full and center stage to move gracefully away yet remain engaged and involved with everything that was going on around you i could go on and on it will take a long time if at all we are able to come to terms with the, his loss and the big hole he is going to leave in the lives of many of us. I offer my Sindhian sincere condolences to Manjula Madam, to Manish and Richaji and the rest of his family. And thank you very much. Dr. Shiva Prasad. I had joined my GM with uh, Vivek in uh, 85 and like Vivek, uh, we were the first batch actually to be allotted to other faculty for our DM thesis. And so literally Vivek and I were the first DMPGs to do their uh, project work under Dr. Rakesh Tendon. And I can say those few years, the two and a half years that we was, that was there at the Institute, the, the, the strongest memory that I'll take away from that is of the knowledge that we can all, could always walk into Dr. Rakesh Tendon's room at any time of the day or evening and will always be met with a friendly smile, a sympathetic ear, words of encouragement and support. It was literally a pillar of support for the period of time that we were there. And this is something that we will hold dear in our hearts and minds. And we have held dear in the hearts and minds for all these decades. Even after leaving the Institute, whenever we met, he would always be, come across as a really sincere well-wisher and counselor for, whenever we would meet in uh, conferences and meetings. There was a movie once made, An Officer and a Gentleman, and I think the consensus of this uh, group would be that if there was a movie made, A Gastroenterologist and a Gentleman, it would be starring Dr. Rakesh Tandon, not just because of his um, uh, hip movie hero good looks, but he embodied everything as a gastroenterologist, all around, all aspects of the, of, uh, the, uh, all aspects of the field. And he embodied truly the personal, what you would imply in your mind, those nebulous qualities of being a gentleman is, I think all of us will feel that, yes, he's the right uh, person who will fulfill those, both those uh, roles. I don't have much knowledge of afterlife, but I do believe that the real afterlife is when you live on in the memories of the people that you have come into contact with. And I think Dr. Rakesh Tandon will be very fortunate 
that he will be continuing to live in the memories of everybody that he has been he has been interacted with his contemporaries his students his patients his colleagues everybody and that to me is the best afterlife that one could wish for my condolences to madam who has been met frequently in the conferences and i know uh, his sudden loss will be a difficult one to adjust to but knowing dr rakesh tandon i think in in my heart he would have also preferred to go this way rather than to have any you know a prolonged illness or any other way of uh, exit thank you for this opportunity i really feel privileged that i've been able to participate and pay my respect to a person who i have always uh, respected and revered thank you dr sudhanshu patwari good evening uh, in fact uh, i uh, went to all india institute in 1983 from 83 to 86 i was in the department he taught us not only the science of gastroenterology but also the art of gastroenterology and medicine he was a great teacher and very um, uh, sympathetic and empathetic to the uh, patient so uh, it is not only the care he used to give to the patient but to the relatives he used to be very uh, sympathetic also and uh, whatever is the emergency whether he, he, even if he is not on emergency call he would be in the office uh, up to 7 or 8 o'clock and whatever is the small problem or difficulty to us he, he used to try and help us and as a human being as a mentor as a guide as a philosopher till now he used to help us and uh, very helpful to us during our career also so whatever we are today the development in the department of gastroenterology even in ahmedabad and gujarat he used to help me a lot and uh, in last 10 years as uh, everybody said uh, we used to meet every year in the rajasthan uh, meetings and we also used to enjoy together the evenings even after a conference in the evening he is totally different and a very social person and uh, like uh, not only by us but our family also so uh, i pray to god uh, almighty to uh, rest his soul in peace and to the family to bear the loss thank you thank you Dr. Piyush Sahani from Department of GI Surgery. For uh, on behalf of all the GI surgeons who trained at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, and on behalf of all the GI surgeons who been in touch with Professor Rakesh Tandon. I'd like to pay our condolences, family. Professor Tandon was a unique person, and we've all heard of all his great qualities. But I'll tell you of a small incident. He had a problem in the operation theater, trying to find a GI bleed, location of a GI bleed. we asked for his help he came up to the theater looked around scoped the person once twice didn't find anything he was walking out very dejected when the patient became unstable again and the anesthetist was very keen that we wind up and close and get out of the theater and professor rakesh tandon said no let me scope again we might be able to find the bleeder he had this quality of uh, always trying to get to the bottom of something persevering and it was routine to walk, see him walk down when it was dark outside from his office and it was not uh, uh, and if you encountered him and you asked him uh why are you going back so late he would say beta abhi to time jaldi hai zyada der nahi hui hai 
a workaholic, a person who would work uh, late in the evenings and would be ever helpful if you had a problem with whatever you were doing. To me personally, uh, when I walked through the wards of AB2 as a resident, on more than one occasion when we had a problem, we walked up to him. We once had a difference of opinion and the combined round activities actually stopped. Uh, after a few weeks, we went up to him and requested him if he would restart the combined round. And he very graciously agreed to, despite uh, the difference of opinion that we had. Mm -hmm. Memories are many and they will remain with us. So we cannot lose you and we haven't lost you because you will live on with us. Dr. Govind Makarwa. Uh, very good evening. Uh, Dr. Rakesh Tandon, a person of such kind has come uh, once in a while a teacher par excellence, a person who changed the lives of many of uh, his students, a real a mentor. He taught us uh, he was always ahead of his time uh, in bringing new things uh, to his students. And uh, he also taught us that uh, why a teacher has to be hard. You can always be, you can always teach a student with uh, love and affection. And if you teach somebody with love and affection, students learn much better. He is still remembered by a lot of many of his colleagues around the world. When we go to many Asian meetings, and people still ask him, how is Rakis? And it's very touching for all of us, uh, because uh, he being a student, uh, today we got a lot of messages from Asian group, and uh, uh, everybody remembers him so fondly. Uh, Till now. Dr. Tandon has, I mean, one of the blessings he had that uh, he went in peace. He was, uh, he went while he was doing his morning work, and God was very kind to him that uh, he didn't have to suffer much during his uh, last time. A point about uh, Madam Tandon, uh, we haven't seen you, Madam Tandon. The last uh, three to four days, the way you stood uh, and did all the right, took all the decisions of family, asking Gita and Manish not to come before you. So this like uh, uh, great, so great of you, ma'am, that uh, uh, you are leading this very hard time with person like a very person with a lot of strength. Gita and Manish, uh, this is a we are sure this is a big loss to uh, whole Tandon family. Our condolences to uh, all of uh, and in time. Dr. Neil Arora. Uh, thank you, Pramod. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I had the longest association as a student with Professor Rakesh Tandon. In fact, in our days of undergraduation, not many people did join gastroenterology because of the fear of being scolded. So Dr. Rakesh Tandon was a unique person who not only had full support for you, so full support for you academically, but one of the person was standing with you on the ground all. But for him, not many would have joined gastroenterology. During my journey to his M my MD days, he really encouraged me to the art of gastroenterology and his excellent teaching and clinical acumen propelled me to join gastroenterology. When I joined the field of gastroenterology, it was a flurry of publications we have with him, starting with microlithiasis. May, may I remind Dr. Vivek Saraswat that the lenses which he used with Professor Rakesh Tandon are still preserved with me, and I would like that if somebody is going to have a treasure of it, it would be preserved, that I am still physically possessed with it. Subsequently, he had the first among so many papers we had together, including disinfection practices in gastroenterology, endoscopic techniques, ecclesia cardia, 
MCB used in resolution of the CBD stone. And we, the last publication I had was the MRI in 1989 MRI had just stepped in the clinic duty. So with that many publication and complete support, I never wanted to leave all in the medical sciences till he persuaded me to join into the private sector. We did have a lull of relationship after that for some time. And thanks to coronavirus index, we had again excellent course relationship. In spite of rampaging COVID-19 infection and burgeoning economic and health impact that never dampened the spirit of Professor Akin's London Encounter Club. Every time we'll organize a webinar, every time we'll have conduct AME, he was the first one to join and the last to leave. He had an unending thirst to learn, unending pains to learn more and more in terms of everything. He would call me at 11.30 p.m. and 12 p.m. in the night to ask me about the different PowerPoint templates we were using, different mechanisms of the pathogenesis we had presented in the uh, background of our presentation, the clinical gastroenterology. And I was surprised at his age, he had unending desire to learn. That was your role model for me. His persistent teaching, his persistent stimulation for learning more and more, and certainly I think uh, I should give full marks to Mishi and Manjula for getting a good hybrid of an excellent Lucknowi Hindi with the Anglo-Saxon English. With that, they have given a good role model for all of all. So I agree with the previous speaker that he never, he not, never lost his thing to live all throughout with us as a young, handsome man. Thank you. Dr. Manu Pandey. Thank you, Pramod. Well, Ramdeer and uh, as Ramdeer has said, I was also one of the fortunate few to learn to assist. My first assist and my first uh, learning was uh, of the RPT, which is the backbone of our practice for all these years, first to London. We are all going to miss him, but much more important than that has let us cherish his ideas. He taught us much more than gastroenterology, academic science and literature. He taught us to become human. He taught us to become gentlemen. His smile, his flamboyance, you have already spoken. What was much more important, he taught us how to treat our seniors. Something that I am looking forward to to practicing, not perfected his level yet, but this is what we have learned from him. Madam, you, Manish, who was with us for a month or so, and Richa, whom probably I saw close to four decades ago, there is nothing which can replace her. But this, let us celebrate his ideals. And as Shiva has told us, he will continue to live in all of us. And we will do our best to cherish, live up to what all he has done. That probably will be the best fitting tribute that we can pay to us. Thank you, Babu. Thank you. Uh, it was uh, a great feeling that we are able to have a great association with uh, Rakesh Tandon for a number of years. I used to meet him almost six times in a year. In most of the conferences, there used to be a common faculty. And today, it is something which is unknown for the GI fraternity that so many people of us remember him. And he was a teacher during a golden period in AIM when uh, Sareen and Kar and Acharya Chavla, me and uh, Manu and Shu. That was a period we were all afraid of Professor B. N. Tandon for his question discipline. And this Tandon used to push on us. Manu Tandon used to be behind us. That was a golden age. We all remember him. We'll see what best can be done to remember him by creating some kind of a Maybe I, I, I just think maybe we should have a lecture or something which all of us can do for him. Let's all think about it. Thank you very much.
thank you, Pramod, for, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, thank you, Pramod, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, almost everything that uh, needs to be said has already been said by all my senior people. Uh, I would just like to mention one or two things. Firstly, when I joined the uh, uh, department, I came very late in my age because uh, in the Army we spend almost 8 to 10 years before we can go for the end after your post graduation. And uh, he was simply the most impressive teacher. And for the first six months, I agree with Dr. Mani Kandan said that he used to cushion us. He was the only one who could stand up to what he felt was right. He could stand up to Professor B. N. Kandan and argue with him what he felt was right. In addition to that, six months later, he became almost like a friend. And that friendship continued subsequently. Even when he went to America, we continued to be in touch with letters. And uh, there are many things that he talked about when I retired from service. And he told me that, Anand, you should continue to work as a dentist rather than taking up that job. And that is what I did. And he also told me that it's best way to go from this world while you are working, while you are still working. And then I heard the news on third morning order, and I realized that this is how he actually wants to go. Um, this is all that I wanted to share with you. And uh, I think we all probably should also wish that this is how we would also like to go while we are still working, while we are still walking. And I pay my uh, humble tribute to him, my condolences to the family to carry on with the world duties. Thank you very much. Dr. Sandeep Patil. Teacher, doctor. My respected teachers, friends, Madam Manjula, Vishka and me, a heavy heart on behalf of the AIMS captain called the alumni, I would like to offer Sir Tanjali Sir Rakesh Kandi. He has mentored all of us so lovingly and tenderly that no words are sufficient to express our collective gratitude. We all must have done great punya in our last janam to get a mentor like him in this lifetime. Speaking for myself, I would have been nowhere without his nurturing, guidance, and inspiration. I remember the first day after finishing my MD medicine in 1993, January, the Acharya took me to Dr. Tandon's office to introduce me as someone seeking training in gastroenterology. He took me instantaneously on the research job with no questions asked and has guided me ever since. He has been so pleasant, approachable, and kind and helpful that I would never hesitate to call him or meet him at any point. The way he spoke with respect to the patient and his relatives has taught me how to interact with my patient with humility. He taught us how to be a good human being before instilling other knowledge and skills to practice gastric. He was always interested in our holistic development and welfare. He would introduce us in front of visiting luminary in such a superlative way that inspired us to work harder, to prove ourselves to be worthy of his praise. He was always appreciative of others and never expressed any malice. As a DM senior resident, I would be nervous before every presentation as I was neither a born gifted speaker nor was my English easy fluent. He would rehearse all the slides with me multiple times in his office at 7 o'clock in the evening before any presentation the next day. To make me feel comfortable, he would say, don't worry, I also rehearse my slides before my presentation. Every time I rehearse my slides, I think of it. He initiated me into biliary work which will carry on as his legacy in me. I realized that he had always treated me like a daughter. My father, in fact, says that he is my professional father. A thorough gentleman, a great human being, a wonderful mentor, and a loving and beautiful family member are all hard to find, all rolled in me. A Sanskrit shloka aptly crystallizes it, which says, Shaile shaile na manikyam, mautikam na gaje gaje, 
the english translation of this piece just like every hill does not have contain gems all elephants do not have a pearl like material inside their heads sandalwood is not found in every forest similarly wonderful human beings like them are not found every once again i pay my homage to our beloved professor rakesh tandon whom we all call fondly as our kitty Dr. Sandeep Nijawan. Dr. Sandeep Sidhu. Doctor Sidhu, you should unmute yourself. Is there? Yeah, he is here. I can see you, but unmute yourself. I think you will find the button lower left corner. Lower left corner, you see the button to unmute. I will suggest you write a message and we will read it out. You can send your message on chat and we'll read it out. Uh, can no, you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I thank Pramod for letting me speak for a few minutes. It's very essential that I talk about Dr. Rakesh Tandon. Well, me and Pramod joined at the same time and we were both known as Arkitis boys. Maybe we were overspoiled by him. because he had affection he had taken affection for both of us we would spend our evenings in his room writing down papers for him and each of those papers he asked he would ask me or promote to become the first author and he would become the corresponding last author after that he was the one who took up the courage to teach us centrotomies in a time where ear cps were not given to residents and i distinctly remember sitting in a meeting where i overheard three head of departments from different institutes saying that why does rakesh give this such kind of liberty to these people to his residents but that was his greatness decides that in my future career i wanted to go to us for settling down over there he innumerable number of times helped me but then finally when he realized that this was not going to be possible he did what normally a teacher won't do he was like a father he wrote me an email he said telling me sandeep i think you are well settled over here you are earning well you are in a good academic situation please forget this dream of going to us and after that day i completely stopped in that direction and besides the fact that we all really miss him because he loved us so much i do remember one humorous thing about him and about one of the professors in pgi when he would get up and say oh bhai kartar tum sawal puch rahe ho ke jawab de rahe ho and everybody body would start laughing in the meeting he was a wonderful man and he was a role model and he was like a father to all of us Thank you, Pramod, for giving this time. Now, uh, Dr. Vinita Hoja. Uh, with Sir's going away, there was a sense of grief, but the sense of grief was much too deep. Like in the sense that he was a mentor, he was a teacher, he was a guide, but the sense of grief was disproportionate. so much so that i had to sit down and analyze that to sit down sit down for one hour and say that why is it that my heart was feeling i was feeling so low then i realized that the sense of attachment with him the sense of affection he had not only for me but for me and sandeepa it was so much that actually it was like 
like parent persona right it was like a personification of a parent the way he nurtured so it was not simply a sense of grief it was personal bereavement and actually for many of us out there at that time we were like small saplings little plants he nurtured us very good he gave us water he provided us sunshine he provided us beautiful opportunities and that too and he made us do things and that too not with a stick or something not with a stick and carrot of course he had a remarkable sense of humor and very carefully with that sense of humor very carefully he nurtured us and that is why i realized that actually it was he was not only a mentor guide teacher whatever you say he was actually a personification of a parent and no wonder on the surface for us like me you go when the other but I, like things seem like okay we are used to it in terms of whatever hits you we on surface we try to appear calm but deep down we all know that you are broken and but the solace part of it is that i would say that the person he lived in style and he went away with a style he went away with a smile on his face he went away very peaceful and that is something again only blessed people can get and he definitely is blessed as with all people we're all going to miss him a lot and there are a lot of stories we can talk about and we had beautiful memories of the journey as i told you he made us grow from little plants and all like but i guess these are stories we are going to discuss now in our alumni meetings and that is with more pleasanter right now we pray for him we pray for ma'am to bear the loss manish and richa we pray so that you are also be able to bear this loss richa i know like uh, when you came last time you were quite very very concerned about sir and you really wanted him to take it easy but as you know sir never took it easy till the last you know till the last day he was always like yes we have to do this. we salute you sir and i would say today the way people have gone back the memory lane it clearly a reflection of the immense immense genuine respect which people have for you it's not only respect it is affection it is love for you and we hope and pray that wherever you are you may know and now i would request anyone else who would like to come to please say a few words namrata please i <clears throat> i have known sir since 1992 when i had joined as a young assistant dietitian in the department to be very honest that i had read nutrition but never practiced it he initiated me into nutrition he took care of all the nutritionists in the department we had a whole program of phd in which nutrition post graduates were coming and sir dr joshi and the others were guiding them so that was his love for nutrition and uh that was the time 1992 when there was just nutrition but there was no term like enteral and parenteral nutrition it was sir in 1993 and 1994 he got together with like minded people like dr shriram and the others he took all of us and we started with this uh, association was the indian society of enteral and parenteral nutrition and it is through that that i got to know sir all the more better because every year we used to have the annual conference and we all used to go together it was the time when we used to go by train not even by flight and sir used to be with us taking care of us and ma'am also used to be with us so that was the time that uh, how he used to take care of us and as dr usha also said he knew that she is very raw so he used to ask me to make the slide and present in front of him because he wanted that i should excel so we had great times with him fond memories of him and as a nutritionist i would say that 
always maintained his BMI, didn't let it go haywire, took care of his diet, and exercised a lot. When we used to go for the conferences, in the breakfast time, we would be coming down, having breakfast before the conference, and there, sir would be coming in his shorts, and after his morning walk and exercise. So this routine he followed even when he went for his conferences. And my humble prayers for his departed soul. And may God give the strength to ma'am, Richa, and Manish to bear this irreparable loss. Anybody else who would like to, uh, who has joined on Zoom and would like to speak? You can raise your hand or unmute yourself. Okay. Vineet, can I speak uh, at the very end once everybody else is done speaking, please? Yeah, yeah, Manish. In fact, I was going to invite you, Manish, Richa, and ma'am. Please, we would request you to say a few words. Vineet, may I? Okay. Uh, Manish, just a minute. Uh, Professor yes. S.P. Agarwal wants to, uh, from Nepology, if he would like to speak. So after he has uh, spoken, then you can take over, Manish. Dr. Vineet, I would. Okay. Um, uh, I think Manish will have to wait for two minutes. Uh, there are a lot of people who still want to speak. So, Dr. Agarwal, please. Of Professor course, Agarwal. yeah, of course. Please, go ahead. Good evening. Uh, uh, I I am little odd from, uh, I have nothing to do with gastroenterology. But uh, uh, my association with uh, Professor Tanjan was because of my alma mater King George Medical College. Uh, let me frankly say, once I entered in the institute, I was not having any godfather in the institute. Once you walk on the third floor where Professor Tandon was having office, the type of feeling comes to your mind once you see him is something very unique. You feel that there is somebody who will help you at the time of the need, although that would be never required, but that was the fatherly figure and the feeling comes to your mind once you see him, that yes, he's the person whom you can depend when you need his help. That was the persona he had and always loved just because being from the same alma mater. I wish that uh, his soul rest in peace. Thank you, Professor Agarwal. Gitanjali. Sir was not only my guide and mentor, but also a father figure. He not only supported me in academics, but also in personal life and all throughout. Besides my academics, he loved my painting skills and made me do many, many artworks. Any amount spoken about his goodness would still be too little. We'll de deeply miss you, sir, RKT. Thank you. Thank you, Gitanjali. Uh, Professor Minoti Apte is there. Uh, Dr. Apte, would you like to say a few words? Thank you very much. Um, I wasn't expecting to say anything, but I just was very touched by every every person's um, uh, 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 dialogue just now. Um, I haven't seen Dr. Tandon for a while because he hadn't been to last year's meetings. I don't think we always used to catch up at Tankatology thank meetings. And I was always struck by, as every one of you have said, always struck by his extremely friendly nature and his genuine goodness of heart that always came through. Um, it's, it was a big shock when I heard the news and I'm really, really sorry to his family for your loss, but also may his soul rest in peace. Pancreatology has lost a great a clinician and a researcher and an enthusiastic educator. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Manish, now you can take over. Manish, Richa, ma'am. Uh, 
Well, let me go first. Um, first of all, this is Manish, uh, his son from Boston speaking. Richa is over uh, in Sharon, which is not far from Boston as well. Uh, I think she wanted to say a few words after me as well. Um, first of all, I want to sincerely thank all the organizers for putting this remembrance together um, and for all the kind words that all of you guys have said. Uh, it's really touching and uh, it's, um, it's a pleasure to see everybody. So many people, uh, even if it's on Zoom and not in, uh, in person. And I'll tell you that um, I've heard all these wonderful things you guys have said about dad, but I'll tell you that one of his flaws uh, which nobody's spoken about was uh, that he wasn't very tech savvy. Uh, of course, he got much better towards the end, and he did a phenomenal job with uh, all these webinars and uh, got very good at using his phone and computer and so forth. But I'll tell you a funny story that um, mom will recall and was not happy about it. So somebody had mentioned that uh, you know she would do all these uh, very nice dances at all the meetings and the Sanskriti. A program that she would do, and Dad uh, was in charge of uh, video recording uh, the whole dance. And guess what? He forgot to put the recording button on. So after a 10-minute program, he forgot to record anything, and uh, Mom was not very happy about that with him. Fortunately, we had a, um, a professional photographer, so it all turned out to be fine. But um, that was my dad for you. Um, so I'm so glad that you guys organized this meeting and all the uh, AIMS people are here because this is really, you had a very special uh, place in this part for AIMS um, and for all the colleagues and the residents at AIMS. AIMS was his life. This is where he started. As you guys know, he built his career over here and he always loved this place. Uh, he spent more time at AIMS in his office or in the wards than he did at home. And I remember growing up as a child, I spent hours uh, doing my homework in his office. Dad, hello, cup chaling, cup chaling, like seven o'clock, eight o'clock, mom is calling, he's in the office, uh, and of course running around the hallways, back and forth, uh, checking out the chemicals in his lab when, he, when we were younger, trying to mix things, make explosions in his lab when he was uh, out doing his work. So, so I remember uh, a lot of memories from Ames, wonderful. Uh, even later in life, um, he only trusted and believed in the docs uh, at AIMS. Hamisha uh, kehte the ki mere ko kuch bhi hoga to mere ko aap AIMS le jao. That's always what he said, even towards the end. You take me to AIMS, I'll be fine. That's what he said. Um, this is where the topmost care is given by the topmost doctors. You guys are the brightest of the brightest in the world, and uh, I know Dad was so proud of everybody. So I just want to say thank you uh, so much for remembering him over here. Um, I'm so proud to be called his son. He has so much, he has achieved so much in his career, and he's been recognized, as you guys have already said, internationally uh, within India, of course. But yet, he was always very humble, and he always believed in living a very simple, simple life. Um, you know, his um, greatest joy was really teaching and mentoring all the students at Ames taking care of his patients, and of course, hanging out with all his colleagues. I think he was very, taught very well by his parents and his uh, very illustrious uh, grandfather, Bharat Ratna Purushottam Das Tandon, as somebody had mentioned also, who also believed in a very simple way of life. I don't think he's taught us that. Me and Richard are not, uh, uh, we, we like to enjoy the finer things in life as well, but that, of course, was very, very simple and always believed in that. In any case, uh, you know, he's no more now, but we will, of course, cherish his memories. Uh, we had a lot of good times, we had a lot of fun times as a family. We worked hard, but he also played hard. Uh, we had a lot of fun vacations. Um, you know, he was, as somebody mentioned, uh, enthusiastic in tennis uh, and other sports. He would watch his cricket matches with us. So, so we certainly had a lot of good times. So all I want to say is God bless. Thank you all for attending and paying homage to our dad, Om Shanti. Thank you.
Hello, everyone. I'm Richa. I'm uh, Patty's daughter, and I'm very proud to be able to say that. It has been very overwhelming, really, uh, to listen to all of you from his second larger family, which truly I agree with Manish Paya. He did spend more time with you than he did with us. And growing up, we used to call him uh, from home uh, when he was in the office saying, Daddy, you are coming home, you know. But he would say, no, there are two patients. Hai. He gave priority to his patients and his colleagues, of course, at Ames. But his patients were his priority. And I understand now, as growing up, of course, you know, I missed him when he was not at home. But growing as I was growing up, I realized that that was his true passion. He was um, just dedicated to Ames, his patients, his colleagues. And I'm just so, so proud of him. And again, thank you for arranging this meet and remembrance for him. It is truly appreciated by all of us um, from his family. Um, I think somebody forgot to mention that if I remember correctly, I overheard or someone told me that, do you know your dad's pet name in or nickname in Ames is also one of them is Rocky. Um, somebody mentioned it. I, I don't know. This was when I was a kid, again, roaming around in the corridors of Ames, where in the lab with Krish and Lal, I have spent a lot of time playing on the computer video games. Manish Pia, maybe not, but I got to play video games, Pac-Man on his computer. And I remember that very fondly, the time that I even spent just knowing that dad is next door working, but at least I'm with him. Um, so thank you. This, this really has been wonderful to listen to all of you talk about him, the little anecdotes. This is very helpful for us and the support and strength that you're giving to our family is truly appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Ma'am, would you? Uh... Yeah. Uh, I'm humbled, grateful, and touched beyond words by the homage paid to Rakesh. Rakesh left a lasting impression on the world, not only on his immediate family, but also his larger family of colleagues, friends, and students. All of you who worked with him and studied under him carry a part of him within you. Your memories for him and affection for him will carry his legacy onwards. Thank you so much for all your support and kind words. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And as you heard, everybody here is with you. Sir is not here, but AB2 Ward, Department of Gastroenterology promises that we will continue to cherish his ideals, will live up to whatever he has taught us, and will continue to celebrate his life for us. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thank you again, organizers, thank and thank you.